And China is cracking down on a number of Western companies for what it calls monopolistic behavior. But is Beijing just pressuring foreign manufacturers that have become too attractive to its Chinese consumers at the expense of Chinese firms? Eunice Yoon has more from Beijing. China says Chrysler and Audi have been found guilty of monopolistic behavior and that the two car makers, among others, will be punished. The car industry is the latest to face government scrutiny as Beijing steps up efforts to enforce its anti-monopoly law. And that's put many car players on edge. The investigations are widespread. The regulators are targeting pricing of cars and spare parts, but it's unclear what the government means by monopolistic behavior or what the punishment is going to be. In the past several days, some car makers have dropped prices. Chrysler cut the price of its top-of-the-line Grand Cherokee by $10,500. It, along with Audi, slashed prices for spare parts. Daimler, the owner of Mercedes-Benz, is also now under investigation. It dropped prices for parts by about 15 percent. The authorities say the investigations are to protect Chinese consumers and bring companies into line with China's anti-monopoly laws. However, they come when many foreign companies have come under government pressure feel unfairly targeted and complain about the lack of transparency in these investigations. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Eunice Yoon in Beijing.